All right, g'day folks, this is um, a quick video on capacitors and uh, just to show you what I'm building, I'm building a, a big uh, capacitor bank and uh, just to explain to you what uh, capacitors will be in my bank and this, is, this little fella here is probably what you'd find inside a uh, transistor radio or a, um, you probably get a lot of these inside your uh, ham radio, you know, TV, uh, a lot of them on the board of your computer, this is a little uh, MKT capacitor. Let me move along to a slightly bigger one over here. That's uh, an older fashioned style, um, you probably find these in old valve radios. And this is actually going to be the uh, tank capacitor, not tank capacitor, resonance capacitor in the circuit. It's rated at 400 volts and it's about the size of a firecracker, probably an M80, about as big as an M80. Uh, then you go up in to a little bit bigger. This fella is a little bit um, smaller diameter, but a bit longer. This fella here, this came out of a computer power supply. So if you're using your desktop computer, this is what's inside the inside the power supply in your computer. You'll have two of them. In fact, there's a second one over here, and I'll just grab it. No, can't find it. Well, these are the parts for my uh, capacitor charger, including the inductor and. There's the other capacitor sitting in there, thanks to eBay and JCAR. Uh, this capacitor here, slightly bigger than our computer power supply capacitor. If you're a photographer, you'll probably have one of these, uh, especially if you've got a, um, an off-board flash, like if you're using a DSLR camera and uh, uh, taking photos with that flash. This will be the capacitor that uh, fires your flash, and uh, basically it's rated at 330 volts. So this one's 450 actually, uh, 450 volts. But they usually only charge them up to 350 volts, and that's what fires the flash. It's basically if I if this were charged and I and I stuck a screwdriver across its terminals, just like that. I know it's not charged. I've already tested it. It would create a loud bang and a pop and a flash of light, and um, what they do with the camera flash is they discharge that energy through the flash tube and that's what produces the flash. Now this capacitor here is a little bit bigger. This one is used for an ion laser power supply. It's um, rated at 160 volts, uh, 6800 microfarads. It's actually for a linear laser power supply. And you can probably find one of these inside a decent quality uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, linear power supply for a ham radio or a, um, oh, I don't know, for well, a workbench like I'm standing at, uh, sitting at here. This capacitor is um, a reasonably reasonably good um, filter capacitor for a big power supply. And we put this one over, actually we'll leave that there. And now we're going to go to this one here. This is the one that's keeping me charged at the moment. It's a can of... Um, Johnny Walker and Cola, and right beside it <laughs> is this whomping great big capacitor here, and this is what my bank's going to be made of. It's a 2200 microfarad, 450 volt capacitor, low ESR, which means it's going to handle being shorted out through bits of wire and stuff. And if I take you over here to the coffee table with this fella, and just plonk him down there. There's the rest of the bank. There's the other. T there's the other nine. So, yeah, that's the capacitor bank along there. I'm not going to touch them because I haven't tested them yet, and uh, I'll keep you posted on it.